Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to make this login page and how to validate username and password with respect to your database using this login button. In this video, I will uh, talk something about uh, sessions and I will also show you how to create a logout button. And once the user is logged in, he will be redirected to a new page for example a user page which has the secured access when user have entered correct username and password so let me start first and let me illustrate what i mean to say i will right click my project and i will say add new item and i will say this page will be my users page once the user is login then he will have the access of this page i will say add and in the design i will go to standard toolbox and i will take a label here and i will also take a button this button is for logout okay so let me drag and drop this so let me change this uh, label text first i will say welcome and whatever your user so just i will change the text and i can change the label id also so i will say label welcome okay and for this button i give the text as log out and this button id is button or b underscore log out okay now once you have done with that you are done with that just click your login button and double click it and we reach to the user.aspx.cs file first we will write the code in this page load event so what we will write here if you remember in the last video in the login page so this was our login.aspx and when you double click this button I have shown you how to validate your password and once your password is uh, correct we were creating a session called new new session you see here let me make it bigger so we were creating the new session if you don't remember just follow the last video and you are good to go now in the last video I was also redirecting my users once he has provided correct username and password to the manager.aspx because I haven't created this user aspx page but now I can write here users aspx so once the password is correct it will user will be redirected to this page okay so we have the session new from our previous video so here you write if your session new is not equal to null so if your session is not null then what we will do is we will say label and we label welcome this is the id of our label dot text is equal to and whatever is there in the session so we have the username in the session right in the last video we have created that so i will convert this session data to the string and i will say I will transfer this into the label and we already have our welcome as our text here in the label welcome and 
so we in the user dot aspx we can just provide this plus sign so it will say welcome whatever the username is or else we will redirect our user once again to the login page okay so let me write redirect response dot redirect and here we redirect our user to login dot aspx okay and in this logout button what i need to do is i need to set this session is equal to null so i will say session new is equal to null and i will just redirect my user to the login page once again okay so just write this code and in the last video i forgot to make a hyperlink to the register page so for example this will be your main page you should have here a hyperlink to the register for the new user so i will select the cell and i will go to the standard tool and i will say hyperlink from here just drag and drop or double click it and this hyperlink text is i will change it as new user register here okay now once again this hyperlink we need to connect it with some page so i will say navigate url i will go to the property called navigate url and i will select registration.aspx so that becomes our hyperlink now once you are done with that let's set our first page so whatever we want to set our main page just right click that page so in our case this is login page and set as start page just click this so when now when you run your program or your website i will just click this green button you have this login page as your first page right and once you cl click this new user register here you should be able to register as a new user or otherwise in the last page we can validate our username and password username and my password i will give and i will say login and if login is correct it i am redirected to the new page called users page right and it says welcome and whatever your username is and there is a logout button here also so i click it and it i will be redirected to the login page just see here so i am redirected to the login page once again so i think our login website is working now in the next coming videos i will show you how to add some more functionality to the website so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now